Welcome to another DTS support video. In this video we're going to be looking at how to live capture high definition footage from a hard drive camera into your sports code software. What you're looking at here is we're going to be using the matrix box which is right here on your right and these are the components and obviously and we'll run through those how to put them together and then uh, get that footage in. So first obviously we have our MacBook Pro and we'll be showing you the um, specs of the Mac that you need because you do need a specific one. Um, we have our HDMI cable that came with our camera and you need, so there's that one. The camera we're going to be using is a Canon Vixia HFM500. Pretty standard though, um, nothing really special, particularly special um, about this one as long as your hard drive camera has a HDMI output. Um, that's the workflow we're going to be putting together. You can use component cables, but um, for this hookup we're going to be using our HDMI cable. Again, we're going to be using our Matrox. This is a Matrox Mini. Let's see if it's on... Uh, it's not... There it is. Going to be using the Matrox MX02 Mini with Max, which is shown here. So that is the type that we're using and would recommend. With what comes with the Matrox is this component, which is the host to Thunderbolt connection. So you need that. Again, this is what comes with the Matrox box is your host cable. And we'll be showing you shortly how these all go together. You need a Thunderbolt cable. And again, the type of Mac you'll need. All newer MacBook Pros have the Thunderbolt connection. If you have an older Mac that doesn't have it, that won't work, so you'll need that and the power cable that comes with it. Okay, so those are the components. Let's start putting this together. Okay, we're going to put our cabling together. Um, I'm not 100% sure if there's a specific order that you need to go in, but here's how I do it and it seems to work. So first, we're going to take our power, plug it into the matrix. Pretty stand, pretty simple. Can't really don't have many options for that. Then we're going to take our host cable. We do recommend um, unhooking this after you're filming so you know you don't want anybody stepping on this and bending your pins and stuff and I do screw them in to make sure we have a good solid connection. So host no other option for us to put that in. And then we take our host cabling and we're going to plug that into the back of our Thunderbolt box. Again, screwing that down so you can't go any further, so it's nice and good in there. Pretty simple. Okay, then we're going to take our camera. I'm just unraveling the HDMI cable. We're going to plug that in. We'll set that off to the side. So the HDMI into the camera. And then we're going to plug the HDMI into the HDMI in. We're going to make sure that's good and tight in there all the way in, not part way. So make sure that's in again into the HDMI in, not the HDMI out. These are the component cables. You could use that as a connection, so that's another workflow that you could try. Um, it does impact a little bit, not the quality, but our next setup when we get onto the Mac, but for now, um, we'll show that later. So HDMI in. I'm gonna unravel the Thunderbolt port. Again, this is just the order I go in. I'm not really sure if you have to go in this order or not, but all right then, I mean, Thunderbolt here into the Thunderbolt port, which is also looks like the mini display port, and that's really it. So we're going to get this powered up here and um, get this going into the, how to get it into the MacBook Pro. Okay, we've got everything plugged in and just set on the side, basically along the floor. Um, just moved out of the way. So here we are on the Mac, and we're going to show you how to get it, your video from your hard drive camera into your sports code software. So first, um, you'll need our help 
because you'll need to get a link or the DMG to download the Matrox software. So we've already gone ahead and done that. That is a piece that um, you'll have to get from, from support for that. Right, so it should pop up here. First, we're going to make sure that the Mac recognizes our Matrox, which it does. If it didn't, this wouldn't be here. All right, and then we need to go into our AV input. And like we mentioned before, if you're doing component cabling, you'll need something different. But basically, you're picking your input, which is our HDMI. And then our HDMI cable also is carrying our audio. So we're going to select that. And if you have something different, you know, you have to select that. That's really all you need for this one. Oh, our Mac spec. So it does come down to the Mac. Obviously, you need a Thunderbolt port, which if you look at the mini display port on your laptop, where the ports are, you should see a Thunderbolt next to it. Again, all new MacBook Pros have those, so that's an essential piece. Um, this Mac, we recommend the 10.8 um, OS X, which is Mountain Lion, so upgrade to that if you don't. Um, we have a 2.6 i7 core computer with 8 gigs of RAM. Um, we do recommend that as well as um, a faster hard drive, either 7200 RPM or a solid state drive. So you'll want that because there's a lot of information coming from your high def footage that you need the computer to keep up with. So again, OS X is 10.8, at least 10.8. Up, up with the latest version, we're on 10.8.2, a 2.6 core i7, 8 gigs of RAM and a faster hard drive. You also need, we would recommend, because if you're going to be on this, you should be in our version 9 software. Which hopefully you can see that. We're in 9.3 currently, but sports code 9. All right, so since we went into our system preferences and double checked that the matrix is good, recognized, have our input setting correct, we now get into sports code. and capture and there's our video coming in now it might default there actually are as you can see a lot of options so it might actually default to um, something else which is me on my camera we'll get that out of there so it might default to you um, and this actually would be probably something like this but so with all these options, you do have to pick what's going on with your camera. Typically, you're probably either a 1080i, um, that's a 60 frame per second, which is 59.948 uh, 59 bit, or you might need to find the either 720. Uh, again, it can vary by your camera, so you just have to find the appropriate one that uh, fits for you. Here's the 720 59.8 bit. Ours is a 1080i. So once we pick that, there's our video. We would recommend um, keeping it in Apple Intermediate. So uh, when you decide to go to high def, there's a lot of uh, workflow components that you have to make decisions about. One being Apple Intermediate gives you a real high quality, good capture, but it results in like a 40 plus gig file. That's an estimate, but they're really big. So you need to be aware of that if you're you know, uploading online, if you're sharing to servers, anything like that, um, this will impact that. I do not recommend compressing it as you go because the uh, it greatly impacts the uh, the quality that you come in that you'll see in your file afterwards, especially with moving objects like in lacrosse. Um, you're gonna see artifacting um, some some of those things, so I would recommend doing this. And then what you'll have to do is run it through Elgato afterwards to compress it down and try out some different settings. But as you can see from our setup through the Matrox box, all we'd have to do is click capture, and we would get our field and high def footage. And our camera's gonna shut off. Oop, so we'll just stop that. So that's how you get it in from the Matrox. Hope that makes sense. If you guys need anything else, email support at dtsvideo.com um, or post a comment, let us know what else you'd like to see and if that was helpful. Thanks, till the video. Next video, have a good one.